another day I wanted to share a couple of poems that I wrote uh, yesterday and the Lord had a different path uh, brought me to Ezekiel 47 verse 12 and um, the whole chapter is referring to healing with waters and trees it says in verse 12 along the bank of the river on this side and that will grow all kinds of trees used for food their leaves will not wither and their fruit will not fail they will bear fruit in every month because their water flows from the sanctuary their fruit will be for food and their leaves for medicine amen reminds me of the passage in john chapter 4 verse 14 but whoever drinks of the water that i jesus shall give him will never thirst but the water that i shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life amen and in revelation 22 verse 2 it says in the middle of, of its street and on either side of the river was a tree of life which bore 12 fruits each tree yielding its fruit every month the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations amen and in genesis chapter 3 verse 24 so he god drove out the man and he placed cherubim of angels at the east of the garden of eden and the flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way of the tree of life all these scriptures are so beautiful going hand in hand in hebrews chapter 12 verses 28 to 29 it says therefore since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken let us have grace by which we may serve god acceptably with reverence and godly fear for our god is a consuming fire amen and as a word is um, living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword it is the sword of the spirit i'm also reminded of um, psalm 1 um, verse 1 uh, actually psalm 1 verse 1 Let's see. When it refers to, actually, I think it's actually verse two to three. Verse three. <laughs> he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. Amen. So I just very encouraged here that we would continue to bear fruit, that we would cling unto the Lord Jesus and um, we would just be his vessels. And um, out of the, um, Water flows from the sanctuary and it just, it's amazing because the Lord had prophesied that if we drink out of the water that he gives, we will become in, like a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. And so my prayer is just that God would give us the everlasting life that we would feel it that we know we have everlasting life in Jesus but that we would truly feel what it's like to embrace the life that he gives us and so um I pray you are all well and that the Lord meets your every heart's desires that all of your uh, prayers are answered in Jesus name